In this video, I'm going to show you the process for getting an animation like this one into Sketchfab. The first and most important step is to make sure that your static layers are all combined and your animation layers are all combined. You should be left with two layers before you export your animation. Before you start merging, make sure that your longest animation layer is the one that you're merging down with. If you try to merge down with your shorter layer, like floor, it'll shorten your entire animation and it'll mess it up. If you're merging down with your longer animation track, in our case, Fire, you can simply merge and it will combine them all into one track like this. It's possible that there'll be some jumps in your animation if some of the tracks are drastically different lengths than others. While animating, if you can keep all of your layers the same length, this will be more ideal for when you come to merge them later. Keep in mind that any transform key animation or opacity key animation will be lost. The output quill files can be very large, so make sure to use the optimize tool before proceeding to the export stage. Now that we have two tracks, a static track and an animated track, ready to export to Sketchfab. To do this, navigate to your document tab and go export 3D file. In the export window, make sure that export message is checked and that export animation is checked. You can uncheck bake transforms, material per layer, and change color space to gamma. Now, Hit export and close quill. Next, navigate to Sketchfab and hit upload file. Drag your FBX into the window and enter the information while it uploads. Once your model is loaded, change the shading model from lit to shadeless, and then adjust the background color to match what you had in your original quill scene. To view your animation, change the track from static to anim stack on the timeline at the bottom of the screen. If your scene has transparency, you can turn that on in the materials window by checking opacity and setting it to dithering. Do this for the single sided and the double sided material. Lastly, you can spice up your scene in the post processing tab by adding things like bloom, grain, and color correction. When you're happy, save a view for your thumbnail and hit publish. 